sixth graders, you came back, yay! All right, I'm Miss Singlander and I am going to be your trusty tour guide for this three hour tour. Okay, no, just kidding. We're not really going on a three hour tour. It's really going to be more of a Fantastic voyage right now. We are going on a fantastic voyage to math. That's right, everyone. I'm going to be your tour guide for this afternoon, and we are going to go on a math tour guide so you can see all the ins and outs of what this class has to offer to you. Okay, so um, grab those camera so you can click some pictures as we walk around and take a look at your online classroom and the platforms that you're going to see as you use them for math this quarter. Okay, every single day when you come to math class, you need to have with you a math journal. Your math journal can look something like this. It can be a composition notebook. Ooh, there's my Vanna White for you. Okay. Or you can have a spiral notebook that looks like this with the spirals. Yes. You also need a writing tool, whether it is a pencil or colored pens. We use colored pens in class. Um, any of those work. Okay. So every day, something to write on and something to write with. We will be using a math journal for taking notes every single day. So you will want to have that with you. All right, this is your math classroom. You can see it right there, it's online. It does not look like this in real life. In real life, our math classroom is bright orange and it's actually a drama classroom. I know it's like llama drama. All right, and so when we are in our digital space, this is your classroom. Your classroom, every Monday, I post for you a Motivational Monday message. You can request a message. So this message here um, was requested by students and um, it was how to stay positive in stressful situations. And um, I just record a message for you every single Monday to kind of help you kick off your week. And um, you can listen to it or not listen to it. Totally up to you. Um, but students usually like to kind of, you know, have a fun way to start their week. Um, if you want to put in a request, you just say, hey, Miss Englander, I am really struggling with, um, I don't know, maybe you're struggling with organization or staying on top of all your work. So you say, Miss Englander, I need some help with this. I need some tips, tricks, strategies. What can you do? Um, and I would just be like, oh, well, let me make you a video. And so on Mondays, I would put together a video for you and that would help you for the whole week. Um, and then um, we also, um, I allow you to post on the classroom wall as long as you are posting nice things to each other. So this is last um, quarter's class. You can see that we had messages to each other um, here. So um, students here like to post things to each other for um, how to keep in contact. Um, students gave each other pep talks, um, just good morning messages things that they wanted to send to me, um, questions that they had for each other, um, you know, just like little messages, announcements, um, motivational things. We try to keep it all nice and positive in here. If it's not positive, funny, silly, um, I know this class like to send each other recipes. It was awesome. Um, I will delete it. So please make sure that you keep our space a nice welcoming space because it is our classroom. Um, once you're in our classroom, uh, you will enter every single day through the class meet link. This meet link will be activated 
about five minutes prior to class actually starting. So every morning you'll click on this or afternoon, what, depending on what time of day you have me, you'll click this link and then class will start. You will hear some music playing because we start class with music every day. And we also start with um, an entry task. Okay, here is an example of an entry task that you would see when you enter the classroom. Um, this would be something that you would need to do on the lined paper that you have every single morning with you. We'll go over these answers. The entry task always covers something that you've done the day before in your practice work. It's also a great time for you to use your notes from the day before and allows you to check your understanding from the day's work from the day B. Okay, so as we're going on our voyage, our fantastic voyage through math land, let's take our next stop along our three hour tour. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what else we have in, in um, store for you today. Um, every day you will see your classwork posted on the classwork tab so how does that look what does miss englander do so every single week i post for you a planner the planner is posted on mondays the planner will look something like this and the planner will have what you're doing for the entire week the planner will have all of the work laid out for you if you have any quizzes coming up for the day or for that week, um, anything that's due or that needs to be turned in, that will be there as well. The planner also has um, important announcements, any celebrations that we're going to be um, coming up or anything that we need to celebrate. Um, reminds you of our Cougar Pride because Pride is super important. And last but not least, it always has our schedule and our schedule has changed on Mondays. So I will have our new updated schedule in there for you. So this comes out every single Monday. It is inside an email that I also send home every single Monday to families and to you. So on Mondays, I send home a, um, a math update. So it'll be like an email that gets sent home and it'll tell your families and your um, and you. It'll get sent home to your email what we're doing for the week, anything exciting that's been happening in class, um, just that kind of stuff. So um, that is always posted Monday and that gets put into your planner as well. Um, we also have goal tracking sheets. So we'll have goals that we're doing um, and uh, we'll be tracking those goals. Every single day, you will have lesson slides. Th this is the lesson that had our entry task on it. So every morning you will open the lesson slides. In the lesson slides, it will have for you, not this one, this was not a good one to open. That's a quiz, you don't wanna see a quiz on your first day. So let's go back to this one. So we'll do an entry task, then we'll go over a vocabulary word. We'll usually do some kind of class, get to know you something rather, cause that's always fun to do. And then we go over our learning targets and our success criteria. So make sure that you're ready for that. I always have the video posted for you. So every single day, we will get together and start out as a whole group. After we're done being together in a whole group, I will then set you free. After you're set free, you can choose to go and work either by yourself in a breakout room, you can choose to go and work with a partner or two partners in a breakout room where you can um, watch the video together, pause it, do the try it's that kind of stuff. Um, or you can um, stay with me in the classroom and watch the video in there so that you're with me. I stay in the Google Meet for the entire 80 minutes. 
You can stay with me the entire 80 minutes, come back, ask questions, go through everything with me. I am always available for you. Okay, so I am never not available, always available, even after school, always available to help you no matter what. Okay, so what does the video look like? Well, let's check it out. So down at the bottom of the slide, there will be a link that you will click on. Once you click the video, it will take you to the next stop. The next stop will be my YouTube channel. Yep, your teacher has a YouTube channel. On that YouTube channel, you will be able to see every single math video that has ever been made, and you can watch the video there. Once you're done watching the video and taking your notes, so on there, you'll pause, you'll take notes, you'll do try it. So for example, here's some notes that we do along with some try it's right there. You'll be doing the same thing in your math journal. You get to use all of your notes on your tests. Yep, that's how we stay sane around here. Not sane, but you'll be sane. Okay, so that's how we stay sane is we get to use our notes. So anything that you put inside your math journal, you get to use on your entry task, your practice work, your, your um, math quizzes, your tests, anything with you. This can even go with you next year when you become a seventh grader. I have seventh graders who are using theirs right now. This becomes like a really, really important piece of work for you. So make sure that you are taking this really seriously. Okay, so you'll click that link, watch the video, do the triads, and then you'll go to Big Ideas, and that is where your practice work lives. So let me show you what that looks like. So first, here, um, that's not what I'm talking about. So here, so here it will say practice work. I always list your practice work with this little red exclamation point. This means, um, hi, I'm really, really important. This needs to be done, like, right now. Okay, so practice work. There's never more than five practice problems, usually like three to five. Make sure you do those. When you do those practice problems, I'm able to see, one, what you know, and two, what you don't know. You're able to know what you know and what you don't know from the lesson. Okay, so make sure that you are getting your practice work done. So entry task, watch the video, take notes, do your practice work. That's it. That's all math class is. Well, that and this lady. Okay, so once you're done doing all of that, you'll go to big ideas. I just put this in here so you know to check it off. So you can just mark it as done. So some of these kids here, they marked it as done. Some did not mark it as done and totally fine because when you come over here, it will be listed. Oh, let me show you how to get there. Oh, I skipped ahead. Okay, so you'll go to your Symbaloo page. Your Symbaloo page, you will click on Clever. Awkward silence. Okay. Once you click on Clever, you will then click on your Google account, log in with Google, and your big ideas will look like this. However, I already put a little heart there because I love big ideas, yay! You don't love it yet. Yours will be all the way down here under more apps. So make sure you love it. Once you love it, it will then be all the way up here. You're gonna click on big ideas. Okay, so click it and then it will open. All right, once it opens, you might have to click log in with Google or log in with Clever, I mean. And once you log in with Clever, it will take you to, ta-da, your dashboard. This is where everything will be, okay? Your assignments will be right here under this little heading that says assignments. Imagine that. Clever, right? Okay, so you will be under assignments. It will have all of the assignments here. All of your assignments are due by Friday. 
Man, my tour guide hat keeps slipping. Gotta fix this thing. Okay, so I don't have any records on mine. You will though. So under to do, you will have assignments listed. If for some reason you do not get your assignment turned in by Friday, it will be listed under overdue. Then once you get your assignment turned in, you can see what your score is under submitted. Okay, once it's turned in, I put all of the work into Skyward, which is back here under Symbaloo, right here on your Skyward account. If you don't know how to log into Skyward yet, you need to, okay? Because this is how you figure out if you're passing your classes or not. This is super important. So you log in with your, um, the same that you log into your Chromebook with at the very beginning. I'm gonna take my camera off because we don't really need this camera right now. We don't want anybody to see our password information. Okay, so we're gonna um, log in with your, it's like your last five and your first three or something like that and then like zero, zero, zero. And then it's usually your lunch number. If for some reason you don't remember your lunch number, or you don't know your password, you can click forgot login or password. It will then be sent to this Gmail right here. This is your mailbox. You'll click on that and you can reset your password. Anyways, I was saying, I put all of your submitted work in on Sundays. So all graded homework goes in on Sundays-ish. Sometimes I get tired and I put it in on Mondays. Sorry, human. Okay, so let's recap. Classwork is loaded here. Watch the videos on the lesson slides. Slide six is your work. Slide seven has your practice work. Practice work is on big ideas, which is on clever. Big ideas. Um, let's go back. If we have a quiz, it uses this rocket ship icon because we are blasting off. That's right. Okay, our learning, we're taking off with our learning. Quizzes are usually Thursdays or Fridays. I don't like to give you quizzes on Mondays. Okay, so we don't have those on Mondays. Quizzes, use your notes and they are an opportunity to show growth. If you, or after you take your quiz, you will come back to the Google Classroom. We always aim for 80% or higher. If you don't have 80% or higher, you get to take an automatic retake with me. I will do a coaching cycle. So that means that you sit in the Google Meet and you and I look at your test and I give you some feedback on it. And I coach you and I tell you, hey, this is what you can do to fix your test. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I totally knew that. Why did I forget? And then you write it in your notes and you go off, you take your quiz and yay, we celebrate you as soon as you hit 80%. Now, if for some reason there's like a bigger mistake on your quiz than that, that's when I pull out the overhead and we do a reteach right then and there and we fix any mistakes or errors that are like, glaring, okay? And I will go over this when we get closer to quizzes, um, but we'll do a really good job of trying to teach you prior to that, okay? So, then you'll just come here, click turn in, you just click view assignment, and then turn it in. It says no late work just because this is the end of the week, th this past week, right before quarter ended, so don't even worry about that. Anyways, okay, so um, I think that that is the end of our voyage here. No, it's not. I forgot one really important thing. Oh my goodness, I ready. Okay, so I ready. I ready is really super important. You will be practicing I ready two lessons per week. Okay, so. To do iReady, you click on iReady. Oh, my iReady is going to look weird. 
So you would click on I ready and you will click on math. Then you will do two, not one, but two I ready lessons per week. You also have I Excel. I Excel is an awesome program to help you grow your math skills. There will be some things here that will be um, assigned to you. Um, and I have a uh, top five that we celebrate every single week of kids who are earning top five in practicing their IXL skills. So on Symbaloo, on Clever, you want to have I Ready, Big Ideas, and IXL be the three math programs that we will be using. Okay? So, Math Classroom, where to find your math work. Every day there is a lesson slide. You will look at that. Your video is on slide six. We always watch the video in, during class time and do our practice work during class time. And then your practice work is on big ideas. Once you're done with your practice work, you come back to Google Classroom, click done, mark is done, and then you are done for the day. You need to make sure that you have paper and pencil every single day. All right, sixth graders, I am so excited to have you this quarter, and I hope that this tour was super informative for you, and I hope that you are excited to be in advanced math with us, and um, if you have any questions at all, make sure that you write them down so that you can ask them, and uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, as always, Cougars, make it a great day the Cougar way. Thanks for listening.